Question 3. Write the three missing digits to make this addition correct. Now we've almost got to, we've got part of the answer already because the answer is actually down here, isn't it? So what we've got to do is think, well, how do we get some of these parts of the answer? Well, this number plus 4 makes 5. So what plus 4 makes 5? Well, it's going to be a 1, isn't it? 1 plus 4 makes 5. So that mystery number at the top must be a 1. 5 plus this number must make something that ends in a 1. Well, 5 plus, you know, that's already gone over 1 because you've got 5 already. So what is the next number after 1 that ends in a 1? Well, 11 is going to be the next number that ends in a 1, isn't it? So whatever this needs to be is going to make it add up to not just 1, because you can't be 1 because you've already got 5. So it's going to be the next number that ends in 1. And the next number that ends in 1, after 1, is 11. Okay? So whatever this needs to be, added onto the 5, needs to make 11. And it's going to be 6. Okay? So 5... 5 plus 6 is um, 11 and what would happen there is 5 plus 6 is 11 is you put your 1 in and you'd carry another 1 underneath wouldn't you 5 plus 6 is 11 put the 1 in carry 1 underneath 1 plus 4 is 5 but because you've carried that 1 underneath that would then make 6 so your final answer is 615 now just to double check it is actually worth a while just doing that sum again to see if it does come to 615. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 6 is 11. Put the 1 in, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus that 1 is 6. So it does actually indeed come to 615. So your three missing digits is a 1, a 6, and a 6.